Uh, the messages the Lord gave to me, although some of them are mainly for individuals, but for the kingdom's sake, I will be relating the messages to you. Maybe you might be uh, concerned or the message might be relating to you in order to help you uh, strengthen your relationship with God and make uh, amends. I will be uh, telling us these messages, but for confidential reasons, the names of the individuals concerned will not be unveiled. Now, the first message here, after my own uh, message here, the Lord said, tell my son Jay that I have seen his works and commitment. I will honor him with the honor of Jabez above all his brethren. Tell him, to, uh, tell him not to be discouraged. I will make him the number one citizen of his family. Through him, his family and the world will see my glory. Lo, I am with him also, even to the end of the world. Now, the next message here is for a sister. The last letter, Sister D, my daughter, to be closer to me than people. She is shying away from the ministry and the work I give to her. Tell her to walk before me and let her works be perfect. She is easily carried away. Tell her to be closer to me and she should be she should be prayerful and always close to her Bible. No matter how she tries to run from me, I will search for her anywhere and bend her to do my will. Tell her to submit to me totally or else I will take her by force and deal with her with my mighty hand. I am the Lord I have spoken. Tell her to make her choice to lend me the easy way or the hard way. Now, in Jesus communicating these messages to me or to individuals and also to uh, the believers and to his ministers in general, uh, his moods always change. His mood changes. Like in this uh, particular message, the Lord was not happy. He was not happy. He was not happy with uh, the sister involved. And if you know you might be concerned, it's left for you to amend your ways and retrace your step back to the Lord. Now, this other message here is for youths. It's for youths. The Lord said, tell the youths to walk before me and make their ways perfect with me. I am not pleased with their works, manner of life, their conversation, their thinking and the thought of their heart is not perfect before me. I am coming to deal with the youth with a hard and iron hand. I am coming with my hammer to break their hearts and to remove them until they totally submit to me. I will be a terror to them until they acknowledge me as God over their lives. I am at the door waiting for the youths. I am the lion of the tribe of Judah, a devouring lion. Be one, the youths. So Jesus was not happy in this uh, uh, place. He was angry with the youth. And he gave the youth a scripture to read, which we are going to read by God's grace uh, very quickly. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 14. He says, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now I will cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So this is the word of the Lord Jesus. The Lord is patient with us. He's patient with the youths. But now he's saying a time is going to come. He will no longer be patient with the youths. And he will take some of them by force. And some of them will have to feel uh, his wrath. But I pray as youths that God will help us and make us vessels of his message in the name of Jesus. Amen. Next message the Lord said, The Lord said, Tell my servant B to continue his works, and he should be obedient to me and my word. He should hold fast the mantle I have given to him, and he should be prepared for me because I am taking him to another reign than where he is now. Lo, I am with him always. There are some reformations and changes I want him to carry out in my church. 
I will review them to hear one after the other. He should take up the youths and tutor them for my purpose. He should show more commitment in handling the youths. I am with him always. Tell him not to be discouraged by the situations around him. They are just for a moment. Tell him to walk on the gift I have given to him. I will help and guide him through my Holy Spirit. I will open doors for him beyond measures and beyond his imaginations and doubt of men. So this is the message to uh, the lost servants and also the words of encouragement for the Lord. You know, in saving God, there are challenges we are bound to face. There are situations that uh, we are bound to go through. But all this, the Lord is telling us not to be discouraged because these situations, they are there to strengthen us and to build uh, our relationship more with the Lord. And the next message the Lord sent here is to prayer band, popularly known as prayer warriors, uh, in your church or your, the fellowship where you belong. The Lord said, tell the prayer band, that's the prayer warriors, that I am angry with them. For a long time they have been absent in my register. At the days agreed for their meetings, I am always there, but they are not present. There are things I would have revealed to them for a long time, which would have taken my church to the next and higher level and platform. I am waiting for them. The strength of the church is in their hand. They left the work for my servant, I am not happy with them. Tell them to resume their offices and duties with immediate effect because I'm about to take them to a new and higher realm of revelation and glory. Tell them to resume. I am waiting to hear from them. May this message is to the prayer our warriors. Now the strength of the church of Jesus Christ is on prayers. If the church cannot pray, if the church is a prayerless church, then that church will be very open and prone to the attacks and the will of the devil. Hence, the Lord is telling the prayer unit of the church, the prayer force of the church, to wake up and stand firm against all odds because the enemies are actually out there to attack the church. But the church needs to rise up and pray because prayer is the strength and power of uh, the church. But the next message the Lord sent here is to pastors, for the ministers of God in, in general. The Lord said, my servants have feared me. I am not happy with them. Their works in my vineyard and... Many of them have left the work I gave to them. They are there buying private jets, building cathedrals and mansions and empires for themselves. While my work is lying fallow and in distress, I am coming to avenge my blood upon them. Tell my servants to return to me. They are like the prophets of Baal who are concerned about their stomach and their well-being. They are like Balaam who disobeyed me, and also the young prophet I sent from Judah to Bethel, who is now in hell. Soon they will go and join him in hell for all eternity. Tell my servants that their disobedience and their unfaithfulness has risen up to me. Tell them to remember my son, Bethel, and the whole son I ended up in hell. I am angry, I am angry. And the Lord gave his servant scriptures for them to read. Jeremiah chapter 23 from verse 9 to 40. And Ezekiel chapter 13 from verse 1 to 23. So this is the message of the Lord Jesus to ministers of God in general. And Jesus in this, in this uh, context was not happy. He was very, very angry with the church. He was angry with his servants, the ministers. Today, so many ministers, they are not preaching the truth. They are out there uh, preaching for their stomach and for their well-being. They are out there building mansions at the detriment of the souls. 
the souls that Jesus died for, the souls that Jesus paid with his blood for. They don't care about them. They don't care about the spiritual life. They don't care about the, the, the relationship of the people of God with God. All they care is how they can build mansions and how they, uh, they can build, uh, build the empires for themselves on earth. So the Lord is not happy with many of his servants. And if you look at it today, 70% of the servants of God, today, they are no longer doing what God sent them to do. Some of them have left their original placement, their original place with God because of money, some of them because of faith, some of them because of their stomach. They have left their placement with God. Hence, the message of Jesus to the uh, church in Ephesus, the Lord said that the church church to return back to our first love, meaning that uh, an individual, a minister of God and a ministry, they can deviate or leave uh, their original placement with God. So it is advisable that as believers, as a minister of God and as a ministry, that we examine ourselves from time to time. Hence the scripture tells us that we should examine ourselves to see whether we are still in faith. So the scriptures is complete. Now the purposes of these messages is for us as believers, as a ministry and as a servant of God to examine ourselves to see if our relationship and our workings with God is perfect. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name.